Welcome to Bulbic. The device today I'm going to introduce to you is Bulbic A Tracer Stop Diagnostic Camera. Before I introduce, let me briefly tell you what APIS is. APIS is the abbreviation of Alopecia Prognosis System developed word first. Photos taken by A Tracer are sent to and medically diagnosed by APIS Manager, the PC software program. Then, program automatically analyzes and shows the best treatment from the data set, which has the highest similarity with the patient's symptom. In other words, APS is the database alopecia treatment system, and its treatment machine provides three combined treatments using drug and electric CD, as well as dual lasers and electromagnetic fields. And in this process, a tracer helps to take the images for auto diagnosis more systemically. Next is the introduction of product components and basic operation of A tracer. As you can see, there are seven components in a box when you open it. To charge it, Please connect USB cable into USB charger and plug it into the power. It takes one and a half hour for a full charge. Next is the introduction of buttons. When you turn on and off, press the button at the upper right side of the body for more than one second. When turning on, it needs the time to boot, and after that, it stays at main menu. When turning off, push for a second to make power window appear, and press OK button. In setting menu, there's the auto power off function which makes the power automatically turn off when you do not use for a certain while. Hopefully, check it. After putting the device, you can see three buttons at the bottom of the screen. And from the left, they say Menu, Home, and Cancel. Firstly, let me explain main menu. It comprises of five different parts, auto-diagnosis, setting, images, guide, and manual shoots. To enter the menu, revolve the menu right or left side, and make the button stay in the middle, and then click. Second is setting menu. In this menu, you can control the following functions. First, you can control brightness of screen. Second and third, there are the functions to connect Wi-Fi and server IP with the device and computer each. And for the connection, please refer to auto diagnosis manual. Fourth, is the function to control volume up and down. Fifth, you can choose a time and language here. Sixth, it's the auto power off function to make it turn off when you do not use for a long while. Software can be manually updated here. So, when on Wi-Fi, will you update, pop-up will appear. But you can do here if you've never done before. Lastly, it's the speculations. You can check version information and memory balance here.
It only works after connecting a tracer with APS Manager, so you should run the program first. Next, set a Wi-Fi and a server IP. To do so, click Wi-Fi in the setting menu and choose the net you want. If necessary, input Wi-Fi password and select Connection. Then you can check Wi-Fi mark on the upper side of screen. Let me set up server IP next. Click IPI button on the bottom of left side of manager and check its address. Moving back to A tracer, input the address number into the blanks. Press done button when you finish. Please keep in mind that port always stays 10,000 for any time. Then click home or back. If successful, you can check the button on manager screen below, turning green to red when enter to auto diagnosis shooting menu with A tracer. After connecting with the manager, it's the stage for auto diagnosis shoot. We are going to shoot three different types of photos, shooting by type, HDD shoot, and close-up shoot. This step is to monitor hair loss more scientifically based on sunny scale and HDD research. And the pictures will be sent to the manager on PC. If the patient visits for the first time, both marking and questionnaire steps will be added. For marking process, you need to prepare as follows. Embo pen, ink, headband, ink container, aqua cotton, comb, and spray with water. After marking, register new patients with pressure register button on APS Manager. Fill in the basic information of the patient on the new screen and press Save to make questionnaire appear. Fill in again entire questionnaire. When you finish, press Search button to find a patient you are looking for. After finding the patient, press Shoot button to drive a patient list to treat. If you want to see a whole list, do not type anything on search stage. After checking his or her status ready to shoot, Moving back to Auto Diagnosis menu of A Tracer. Check on Manager, the icon at the bottom of the screen turns red into green. Marking only can proceed when hair gets wet after shampooing. If his or her hair is not wet enough, using spray with water will be okay. And by using Ember Pen, mark diagonally 10 times 
at a recognizable size, so that ink can be absorbed widely. Wipe the spot with aqua cotton, and check if it's done well. An additional five times of marking should be done, and wipe again. Depending on the patient's slight bleeding, can happen. Next step is to shoot with a tracer. This is for all patients, both who visit for the first time or have visited before. Shooting can be divided into three parts, shooting by type, HDD shoots, and close-up shoots. Let's start shooting by type first. When shooting, let the patient wear hairband. And without any lens attached to a tracer, Adjust face on line and eyebrow line on the screen into the patient's ones. Locate the face tightly inside the outline. And adjust the size of forehead with red line. You can do by increasing or decreasing the values of arrow sign on the right. Sign indicates beginning line of the forehead before hair loss. Default value for normal size is 5, and 7 to 8 would be appropriate for those who have broad hair forehead. If you'd like to focus, click with fingers on the screen where you want to do. Push the button on the bottom middle side, and you can check the image. Click Save or Cancel depending on your decision. To take shoot by tie for the second, remove the patient's headband and part the hair in the middle. And adjust it into the vertical line on screen. Please make sure horizontal line stays on the spot where parting ends and tightly adjust our line into head. Shoot on right, 90 degrees above the patient's head. Next is HDD shoots. By using HDD lens, we are going to take four pictures for male pattern hair loss, female pattern hair loss, and five pictures for telogen effluvium. 
The shooting sequence will follow frontal, mid, vertex, lateral, and back flow. Let me mount HDD lens first. Check the lens and insert it into device. Then part the hair on the frontal area over the marking spot. Spread into two parts evenly and fix evenly with fingers. Shoot when parting direction follows the long side of the device. The warning point in this stage is to lessen error of reading. Do spread hair not to be overlapped one another and locate the marking spot on the middle left side of screen. After HDD shooting four or five parts of scalp, the message please mount close up lens will appear. In close up shooting, we are going to take four or five pictures as well. These two should be shot like four or five different markings that they should be located at the bottom left side of screen. And please be noted that hair can be shot by one direction. When all completed, will you send message will pop up. Then press the send button to send the pictures to APS manager. You might be able to check the status of the patient on the patient list to treat we changed now, shooting into shooting completed. Please be aware that Wi-Fi is not disconnected during sending. It's all necessary to mark and fit in the questionnaire again for the patients who already visited many times, but they still need to check the marks on their scalp again. If need be, mark on scalp again. Press search button to select the patient on APS Manager. If you want to see the entire list, do not type anything for this time too and press search button and then click the patient on the list and push start shooting button to locate the patient on the patient's list to treat. 
at this moment, choose the patient again. And for this time, press Auto Diagnosis menu on any tracer. Then you can see the status of patients on APS Manager with changes waiting for shooting into now shooting. Online photo previously taken appears on screen with the patient's information on the right side. Adjust the angle and distance like the outline on screen and now start shooting. Manual mode is for those who do not need auto diagnosis. To drive the function, press manual shoot in the menu. Then insert close up lens. Manual shooting doesn't provide a screen outline. After save, you can check image preview at the bottom left side of screen or the normal image folder of image menu on APS Manager. Guide is the menu to figure out how to operate the device. You can click the contents to see, and the screen shows the method. When you press Cancel, you can move back to Index again. In order to move Index to Main Menu, click Home. Image Menu is to see images taken by Auto Diagnosis Shoot or by Manual Shoot. Click Image on the menu. After entering, you can see the folders ordered by date or patient's ID. When you select the image to see, it appears. You can choose multiply. If you click an image for more than one second, will you select all? Message will pop up. And you can do so if clicks confirm. If there's not enough space for memory, please remove the image you don't need. About 1000 patients' data can be saved in this memory. Information folder is the place where you can check downloaded files. In case you want to upload images on PC, connect USB cable with A tracer and PC. Click Open and C files. Internal storage and APS in a row. Images of auto diagnosis are saved in the auto folder and images of manual shoot in the general folder. You can simply unload the folder or image saved by their date or patient's ID.
Lastly, here are the cautions. Unable to take a picture on a specific part selectively. In auto diagnosis shoot mode, you cannot choose where to shoot by yourself. You need to complete a whole shooting process by its order following frontal, mid, vertex, lateral, back. Least deletion. In case you want to shoot several patients in a row, you must check their status thoroughly. If they are in the status of waiting for shooting or treating, or now shooting or treating, APS manager needs to disconnect with an A tracer. After that, try once again with another patient before use. Storage Lens must be kept clean anytime, especially cleanse with alcohol after shoots. If you expect not to use the device for a while, turn it off or adjust the auto time off function in setting menu to save your battery. Frequently check the battery balance and do not use if it's too low. The power duration is 3 hours long in the waiting display mode and 1 in 20 minutes long when you take pictures continuously. Additionally, you can use and charge at the same time. This is the end of this video manual. Thanks for watching.